Good morning. Uh, we are on our way out of Thessaloniki and making our way to Istanbul, Turkey this morning. So that's quite exciting for us going to Turkey for the first time. So can't wait to get on the flight. made it through security. This time I got the random check, but it wasn't as big of a deal as the woman trying to get her cat through. Like, Multiple Woo. women getting their cats through. <laughs> Don't try and fly with cats. It's just, it doesn't work out. <laughs> no problems. Now figure out the next step. All right, at the airport, we found our bus. I asked the bus driver if this is where he was going. It's like, yeah, yeah, puts us on the bus. Doesn't take our luggage, we put our luggage on our laps because I filled it all the way up. We're on the bus for like what an hour something like that and he tells us all it's last stop it was supposed to take us about 15 minutes walk from where the bus drops off to our airbnb dropped us off way early so now we have a 40 minute walk i am super pissed welcome to turkey follow the orange bag Good morning. Uh, we are in our first full day of Istanbul, and as usual, we generally try to start it with a walking tour. So we are jumping on one through Airbnb this morning. to enter the Hagia Sophia. Uh, this was originally built as a uh, Byzantine church, cathedral in the 6th century. And then in the 15th century, when the Ottomans came, it became a mosque. 19th century, it became a museum. And now it is a mosque again, so we have to stay covered. Because this has both been a church and a mosque and a museum, you can see remnants of all of that. So uh, there's Mary, who's kind of covered up with some with some ribbons, but then you also have um, signs of Islam, and then you have old pieces of, of metal and things that were used when it was museum. But um, and now it's still a mosque, and you might wonder, well, why is Mary, you know, still seen if it's as a mosque? Well, there was some political rife to make sure that. Uh, People were saying, oh, the, the, the Islams have destroyed, you know, the beautiful frescoes within. And so they keep them uncovered just so politically uh, they can say, no, no, the building's still fine. Uh, even though this is this is our, our religious holy place. Because this was built as a church, uh, it's actually facing towards Jerusalem. But when this became a mosque, uh, the altar is actually facing Mecca. So it's just a little bit uh, skewed to the side. Over the years, uh, the Hagia Sophia has expanded every time someone new comes in. Mm -hmm. 
We're now at the Blue Mosque, but it's under some major reconstruction right now, so we're not gonna go in. But it looks like it would have been really pretty inside and it'll be really exciting when it opens up. We're currently at the Hippodrome, which there's not much evidence of that anymore. No horse races going on, but there are two old obelisks. One obelisk was taken from Egypt it was about double the size that it is here. Uh, half of it's still in Egypt, half of it's here, and it's very old compared to the Hippodrome itself. All right, we're about to enter the Grand Bazaar and we're entering it through uh, the 21st gate. There's 22 gates to enter and we're going to be entering it from this teeny tiny one. It's the smallest one to enter the Grand Bazaar. We had to try some Turkish Delight and we bought some and it was nummy. Good morning. Uh, we are officially starting our turkey tour with a company today. Uh, it'll be about 10 days and lucky enough we actually have just our own personal guide. We are with uh, two other gentlemen from uh, Costa Rica but they have their own Spanish guides so we're more or less on our own just with a couple extra people. We're looking forward to this, checking out Turkey and uh, excited to see what we find. So the first thing we did on our tour is we took a cable car up onto this top hill and the hill is actually covered in graves and a lot of famous people and rich people live here. So we're checking that out. side and I have not been to Asia at all yet so when our tour eventually goes over there in the next couple days that'll be my first time in Asia ever. As we're walking around after our tour we're walking along the seaside here this was the last company I expected to run into for a coffee shop Caribou Coffee. Uh, for those that don't know it's very local inside Minnesota and it is kind of scattered throughout the United States at this point but it's a Minnesota uh, thing. but it was definitely a Minnesota thing Starbucks is more international this was the last thing I expected. I guess there's a few of them here in Istanbul, but Who knew? this was wild. Good morning. Uh, today on our tour, we are going to go to a palace and jump on a cruise around one of the rivers here. So uh, looking forward to experiencing more parts of the city.
We just wrapped up our time with the boat tour and the palace tour this morning. Uh, boat tour really wasn't that much. It was just kind of trolling around a river. And then we uh, just got done with some lunch. Now we're gonna make our way back to the hotel and chill for the rest of the night because we've got a early rise tomorrow morning. So looking forward though to the next stop we make.